Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add widgets to your desktop on macOS Sonoma. This is one of the main new features of the latest macOS update, macOS Sonoma, and it allows for quick glanceable information right on your desktop. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so to add widgets to your desktop, what you need to do is go up to the um, date and time section up in the top right hand corner of the menu bar and then click that and then it will open up your notifications and widgets pane. Now, usually on macOS, this will have widgets already pre-installed in this pane. So when you click on it, it'll have some widgets that come up down the side. Now, um, I've probably deleted these as a previous date, so that's why they're not coming up. Uh, but usually you will see a few widgets here. And previously, this was the only way you could have widgets on macOS. So you'd have to click on this little section here and you'd have some widgets here. But now you can add it straight to the desktop. So, and you can see here, it's coming up with a little tip saying, what's new? Place widgets directly on the desktop and add your iPhone widgets as well. So you can also add widgets from your iPhone if it is connected to your Mac. So we're going to click edit widgets here and you'll see that a new pane comes up. And what we can do is you'll see that if we scroll down here, we have some suggested widgets. Um, and then we can go down and see all the widgets that are available. And you can see we can go app by app here. So what we might start with is some of the suggested ones. So when you find a widget that you like, you can hover over it and click the plus button or you can drag it over yourself. So I'll start by just clicking the plus button here. And by clicking the plus button, it adds it straight to your little um, stowed away um, widget stock here. But then if you want it on your desktop, you can then drag it out of there and then place it on your desktop. And you'll see it starts trying to snap to a grid. So you can just place it anywhere. Or if you'd like to snap it to a grid, you'll see that it starts finding it and eventually it'll snap. And it makes it all in a nice grid layout. So... We'll go back to the widget edit widgets pane here. And what we'll do from now on is we'll just drag it straight from here onto the desktop because that does it in one step rather than breaking it up into two. So you can see we've got the weather widget here. Um, we can find some other widgets that we want to add, such as maybe, um, let's say we want to have uh, a contacts widget and we want some of our most frequently contacted people. So maybe just a bit of a larger widget here. We can bring that across and place it below weather. Um, and you can see, obviously, this user doesn't have any um, custom contacts on it, so it's not showing up, but this would be filled with your custom contacts if you had them. Um, we might want a little clock. So maybe I'll just bring the clock over here. And let's say that we want to see the stocks as well, and maybe... Maybe we want a just a small little stocks one that can go there. Um, we'll find one more here, uh, maybe podcasts uh, that can go in there. And you can see that now, if I click done here, we've got a nice little section of widgets here. And um, what you'll notice is as you open an app, they will then sort of seamlessly transition into the background. So you can see that now I've got Safari open, but this would happen for any app you can see that they've seamlessly transitioned into the background to sort of um, not be distracting while you're doing your work. So, but then as soon as I minimize and go back to the desktop or as soon as I just uh, quit the app, so if I move this back to the center and then quit it, you'll see that they come back front and center ready for you to see. Now, another thing uh, that you can do is if we right click on the widgets, we can change the size and we can also edit it. So if I edit it, I can either change it to my location or just leave it as Sydney. Um, so that's always good. And then if I can, I can also change it to a small, medium or large widget, which can be really helpful. And then uh, you'll see that by making it large, you have some extra details about the sort of next five days of weather. And then if I move this down, I can then just reposition it so it fits a bit nicer in the um, 
in the little set here. And then maybe this one can be medium so that it all fits in a grid again. And as I open Safari, you'll see it moves it again. Now, it's still a little bit buggy at this point. You can see that the weather glitched out for a moment there. It's come back now, but for a moment it sort of lost all the data. Um, but um, it seems to be working again. And then as I quit it, it goes back. Now, one last thing I will quickly show you is um, when you're on macOS Sonoma now, you can also just click the anywhere on the desktop, any free space on the desktop, and it will now show your desktop. You can see that by clicking that, it's brought up a menu here that says click wallpaper to show desktop items. Quickly access desktop items and desktop widgets by clicking the wallpaper. Click again to bring windows back. You can change this in system settings. So if you don't want it, you can turn it off in system settings, but I actually think this is quite helpful. You can quickly get rid of all of your uh, open apps here. So um, you can see that if I open a few things up and then I just click off it, you'll see that they all disappear, which is really nice if you just need to access something quickly on the desktop. Um, and you can see that it does it all like that. So... Um, that's really helpful in that sense. So we'll just close these off here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to adding widgets to your desktop on macOS. Of course, as I showed you earlier, if we go back to the widgets pane, you can still just add these normally to your widgets pane just by clicking the plus button. And if you still want them just to be stowed away like that, um, that is always an option there as well. So um, that can be quite helpful. If you don't want them taking up space on your desktop, but you just want them to be stayed away. And you can see I've got a hot corner set for that as well. Uh, I've made a video about how to set hot corners on your macOS device. So if you'd like to see that, I'll leave that linked up in the cards and in the description below. But that makes that really quick and easy to access as well. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in adding widgets to your desktop on macOS Sonoma and it's really helpful just allowing for that extra glanceable information. Also let me know down in the comments below if there's any other video suggestions you have for me especially regarding maybe new features in macOS Sonoma because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. And with that don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.